Hello everyone and welcome back to Mod Life 4 episode number 14. I know so much has gone on since we last left off. A lot has in fact actually uh, since we've kind of moved away from our little island so far away but still do have a few uses over here so we still have I, I still want some uses over here being basically because I do want to still make use of our our wonderful little tunnel here back and forth it's a lot of fun to go back and forth eventually we'll have a maybe a little bit faster way of getting back and forth but we do need to start making use of our tech room over here I have not really done too much but I still have a little bit more architecture stuff architectural architectural things I need to do whatever uh, structural things I guess maybe is a better better word for it now in the last episode we've done a few things since then I've uh, built a few other things <laughs> um I need to think of some better things to call these things I suppose just big things this time around we have ourselves a brand new dome you might have an idea of what this one might be for considering the floor in here um, but basically I went with a little bit of a different style this time around I wanted to see what it would be like for like kind of like this oblong shaped dome-ish underwater biodome <laughs> um, but basically I also changed up the glass so right now we're using a clear glass before we were using a frame glass from create this time around I kind of like it I think it looks pretty good also there was a lot easier way to clear this out I was complaining about this I think on stream many times and I think I might have complained to you all as well about the sponges but I will definitely say it is totally worth making the energized sponge on a stick which also does get rid of water even though you have to use a magmatic sponge on a stick I was a little worried at first and a little skeptical, but after making this, it barely uses any power to clear out a large area, and it's completely more worth making than any of the other sponges, in my opinion. So, like, this is the end-all, be-all, because these break when you pick them up, these break after, like, two uses, this breaks after a single use underwater. Um, these though, you know, obviously the vanilla ones are still probably a little bit better than most of these, but this one is definitely a go-to for clearing out some underwater stuff, just to let you all know. Anyways, we'll get to working in here very soon. Another thing I need to show you all is maybe a little bit of work that I've done. I can't remember if I showed this in the previous episode, but I think there was a little bit down here and I did move some stuff at least. Uh, we did finish the catwalk around, which I don't think I showed that yet, but we got ourselves our power room, and that is what we're working on down here. So I went ahead and moved what we worked on in the previous episodes down here as well. We got our wonderful bio generators here for mechanism, and we still have a decent amount. We're using it a little bit faster because we have some other things being powered currently, but I will go through that in a little bit. So we're going to set up some better automation for our farms, getting things made and crushed and sent down here for biofuel. Uh, also, we have this wonderful screen set up here from RF Tools. Uh, we currently have an inventory plus screen module, so we know basically how much is in the bin down here, which if we want to see, we can go down one more little level and just kind of see that we have our bin down here. And we do have the crushing factory still and the screen controller down here hooked up to a dimensional cell so that way it can power the screen and everything gets sent up appropriately so basically a little bit better and I just kind of fancied it up with some trap doors and stuff like that some other blocks from chiseled which is another mod I added in I will be updating the mod pack I've said that for like weeks and weeks now I'm so sorry but I will definitely try to do that I think I might just go ahead and throw it up tonight actually after I get done with recording so with that all being said we got that and then this is actually for this I want to see how much this actually generated uh, as far as power is concerned and I think if I remember correctly it does like 160 RF a tick because these do 140 yeah so I believe this one does 160 this is from industrial foregoing a mod that I've really not poked around with since a lot of the major changes and updates and today I think I'm going to change that um really liking some of it and I 
think it might be a little bit more up my alley. Now, I was doing a little bit of experimenting here, and I was trying to see about these augments here. So these are auxiliary process seeds. I was hoping if they would stack, but it sure does not seem to be the case whatsoever. Um, because of all of the copper that I've went through, I've only barely gotten a stack worth of gold dust because, yeah. Let's go ahead and run through this real quick. So copper has a 10% chance of getting gold dust. So 10% with... That would be a 25%, and I don't even feel like it's a 25% chance. That coupled with another 30, 45. So that's, um, what is it? 50, like 70% chance? So that's like, it definitely does not work. That's nowhere close. So that's a little unfortunate that you can actually put these in, but they just, they definitely don't do anything. So I'm going to go ahead and pull those little, little dudes out for now because it's just not helping anything at all but we do have this set up so i've done this in the past but maybe i'm not on this scale and today we're going to make this a little bit better and a little bit faster as well so currently we have a fluid four fluid extractors set up with a block placer set up underneath <laughs> don't mind that and a dimensional cell yes i know it a dimensional cell don't worry about that don't just do, don't worry about the dimensional cell we're going to work on that eventually. So I did put a whole stack of logs in here. Now, eventually we're going to have to continually refill this somehow. Not sure how we're going to do that yet, but we'll figure it out nonetheless. Anyways, so we got everything being powered appropriately. Um, this one also does not take power, by the way. It just places a block down, so we're good there. And these being powered, they don't need to be powered, by the way. I do need to point that out. But it will take a longer process. See how it starts right about in here? Around, uh, what, 40? So that's because it is being powered. Now, if it was not being powered, it'd have to start all the way up here at the top and then work its way down. And then every time it produces a little bit. And the reason why I have this set up like this is because I want to be able to see what's going on i like being able to see the little animation even though it's not like a lot and i have the tanks here because well i figured if we have an excess amount it'd be cool to have, be, be able to see it but anyways it makes its way up i wanted to use these pipes from industrial or immersive engineering because i like the way they look for the field that we got going on and that makes its way into here where we have water being pumped and making our dry rubber which we need nine of these to make one piece of plastic nine of these crafted together makes an item this here dry rubber and which we smelt to make plastic which is a component that we need to make a lot of other blocks from industrial four going now how are we getting water well this is aesthetic <laughs> this is just aesthetic i think it looks cool so i figured Eh, why not? Make it look like we're pumping out from the ocean and getting ourselves some water. Whereas, we're actually just getting it from this sink down here from cooking for blackheads. All I have to do is flip this switch right here. See a little animation going on in there. And a lot of water being pumped into the dynamic tank. Which is also from mechanism. Um, I could probably show you all. This is structural gra bleh, glass, not grass. <laughs> and these are dynamic tank blocks. So if we take a look, dynamic. You need the dynamic tank, which is super easy to craft. It's four pieces of steel, so you had to make that previously, and a bucket in the middle makes you four of those. Dynamic valve requires four of the tanks that we just showed with a basic circuit, and that's basically how you do it. So I have that running out. I have three valves on this. I have one on the bottom, one on the back to make it seem like that's where it's coming from. Um, and this one on the side that's actually pulling out. Now, unfortunately, we can't pull out with these. We actually have to have another fluid pipe in order to pull things out, which is why we're using the mechanical pipes for mechanism. It seems a little bad. Maybe eventually we'll swap that up and change it out a little bit better. But right now, this is just kind of the easiest way of going about it right now. So um, let me go ahead and show you how to make some of this stuff. Uh, don't worry about the bioreactor and the biofuel reactor. We'll get to those eventually. I think we're maybe going to utilize this in the future because this seems to work out pretty well. And these are pretty easy to craft. It'd be nice to use this wonderful purple fluid. If you can't tell, I've got some purple stuff going on. And I thought maybe it might be kind of nice to utilize this a little bit. So uh, moving on, 
these things right here fluid extractors let me go ahead and show you a little bit of these right here very easy to craft this is kind of the initial thing that you need to make power optional same there four ingots wait the pressure plate the pity machine <laughs> frame <laughs> and that's basically how you craft that so very simple and then you pipe this into this little guy the latex processing unit so these are like uh basically your your first two things that you need to make so they're very simple but you do need to wait to get a bucket of latex in order to make the latex processing unit so you have to let this do its thing extract it to a tank extract it out to a bucket and then there you go so that's how you get that going now this works pretty well it's not too bad but making a stack of this does take a little while and that makes about 15. so it's not a whole lot and we need to basically speed that up so what we're gonna do today is well just exactly that we're gonna try to speed things up a little bit also don't worry about the turtle and all the stuff that's going on inside of here um i might need to uh reorganize in here a bit <laughs> eventually I don't know if we're gonna put our refined storage in here I think we might not but it would be easy to work out of here eventually now anyways so that's all done that's taken care of when we have our plastic let's go ahead and get out of there we don't really need to be in there why are there so many sea serpents holy cow that's a lot of sea serpents uh, we are running low on that pretty quickly anyways so to speed these little things up here we're gonna need another machine something I've not ever made something that I always kind of was against an industrial foregoing um but i think we're gonna give it a shot so we got these speed add-ons here now i don't think this one particularly is too hard but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna stop this we're gonna start letting these kind of build up and i have a tank set up up there as well just to kind of change things up a bit but let's go ahead and grab out of our bag because we need to stop this for a minute we have plenty of plastic no need for any more at the moment so we're just gonna go ahead and turn that off we're gonna start letting this build up and if we right click this with a bare hand it'll start telling us how much we're getting in right above our uh, toolbar here at the bottom and it's gonna be a little while we might have to take a little bit of a patient break to get a thousand but we'll work on that when we get there all right so what do we need well well we need this to actually show the right thing for one and we need to go ahead and look at making this dissolution chamber this is the machine that i have no idea anything about i have never made this thing ever before so we're gonna get into i've been saying so a lot i need to i get in these things where i start saying these words a lot and i get ooh, i need to stop that <laughs> i need to stop doing that <laughs> all right well let's try to stop saying that word <laughs> i've done this many times in the past where i get like that and i i know i'm doing it and then i'm starting to and i was like questioning myself am i actually doing it though and then i notice i say it again so <laughs> god dang it <laughs> i did it again heck is it sometimes these sounds really bother me um oh it's a O, oh, not an a or yeah anyways so sometimes you, this does not like to pull appropriately out of our our simple storage system here that's okay um i believe we do need water for this in order for it to actually no we just need the latex it looks like which is completely okay but we also do need to give this thing some power so maybe we'll find a little spot for this like maybe here-ish i think would be good and i'm probably gonna have to wait to get a little bit of this all kind of set up because i'm gonna have to wait for this thing all right that's going all right fast enough we'll probably be able to set this up in just a minute now while we're waiting i figure we're gonna go ahead and work on something over there as well so some more industrial foregoing 
Um, because I would like to do a biodome, and I think it would be nice to have a way for us to start getting our trees and all that good stuff a little bit more than what we've been getting and the way we've been getting them. So a little, little bit of automation in a sense. And I believe we're going to want to get the plant gatherer. Now, if we go about this a certain way, we could do it all industrial foregoing. Or we can kind of change things up a little bit, which I wouldn't mind. I like to use different mods here and there. Plant fertilizer. Plant gatherer. Oh, you need two of those. Why do you always go... See, I always go to the, off to the right. <laughs> Everything else pulls it off. Who crafts theirs off to the left? And then who crafts theirs onto the right? Let me know in the comments. It's kind of, um... <laughs> It's just interesting, I think, to see how people generally craft certain their uh, like certain tools in Minecraft. I think. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to make more of these, aren't I? I don't know how I'm doing. I think we are good on resources. I think we're all right. We might just quickly set up a plant let's just type in plant be so much easier to set this up this way all right we'll grab ourselves a plant gatherer and a plant sower i believe it is so we're gonna need that is a inspiration oh that's an actual compass interesting well at least we have this mod <laughs> to set this up appropriately uh which we didn't really need to do could have I guess crafted that one too. That's completely okay. Uh, plant. I always have plenty of things to craft with, apparently. We're just going to go ahead and do this for the time being. And then we might need the range upgrades as well, which unfortunately, I believe, does require the dissolution chamber as well and more latex. So this is where our problem is going to be coming in to play. It's because we're needing a thousand millibunkets or one full bucket worth of latex to craft any of these upgrades including the speed ones so if we want to make anything remotely faster we need to start off with this and i think this is a good setup but a little bit more speed probably would not hurt now i'm assuming in doing so it's probably going to speed up our power usage as well but Let's go ahead and place this down and just kind of get an idea. Well, that says a lot. <laughs> now, there's also, if we type in harvest, there is also this from Cyclic. And I don't know if this is working. And by that, I tried testing this out in Sky Factory 1 Remake. Because I've been, I was doing a little bit of uh, testing on that for a little while. Oh my gosh. I have like none of this. Anyways, I was doing a little bit of testing to help out Darko uh, getting that set up. I don't know how it's going, honestly. I've not been able to check, but I assume things are going well on that front as well. Please don't mind me for a moment as I try to figure this out. <laughs> These things are a little annoying to craft. I won't lie. Just because some of those things are like the same and then you're like, do I have the other thing? And then, yeah, it's okay. We're figuring it out. We're almost there. All right, so there's the mason plates. I think we have pretty much everything. But yeah, these things kind of just ended up stopping after a while, which is really strange. And this is also another problem. It's on my nerves. But that's okay. We're gonna we're gonna make our way through it. Alright, and there we go. So now this one I do believe requires a little bit of power. I'm not used to that thing doing that. Yeah. So this does require a little bit of power, but you can see the range on this is very substantial, especially to the size. So I did that stupid word again. I'm just so ready. That's what it is. I'm just, I'm so pumped. I'm so ready. I'm so happy. We so got this. Let's just get it out of my darn system. All right. Let's go ahead and check on that. All right. We're, we're 
about there. Now, the downside of this is, is we're only going to be able to make one with this. So, maybe going with the speed up. <laughs> that stupid word. I can't say it ever again. Oh, my gosh. All right, whatever. Here, let's go ahead and make one of the biggest curses known to Minecraft. I talk about all the time, and that is this. Well, not that. I need... Oh, come, come. doing this to me oh gosh i'm about so ready to jump into refined storage i love simple storage network though i really do simple storage network is probably i would have to say at the top of my favorite mods especially as like a storage system just because i love that you can use it early on i love that it works with like the inventories pretty much right off just the bat I love the remote, the fact that this can be used just about anywhere, to be honest. Uh, pretty much any, any dimension, even though you have to craft this one, but yeah. Temple Storage Network, definitely, definitely one of my faves. I don't know if I've expressed that in the past that much, but hopefully you know. All right, there we go. So that's all linked up. So while this is doing its thing, let me, um, oh, we're going to get over there and do that thing in a minute. We have ourselves a thousand millibuckets. So let's grab a bucket. I feel like someone in the comments is going to be counting how many times they would say the word so. <laughs> All right, there we go. So we're going to go ahead and put that one bucket worth in there. And I think what we'll do... Actually, hold on. What is it called? Is it just speed what was I typing in before because I was seeing it like right there was I typing in upgrade why am I all of a sudden not seeing this hold on a minute I was seeing it right there oh it's this why is that not showing up in there? Speed? You? Is everyone else seeing this? Or oh, there it is. All right, I think we're gonna go ahead and just jump to this one, even though it's gonna require us to have some diamond gears. Don't see a problem with that. And plus, we're a little bit lower on gold at the moment, anyways. But we do need some sugar. We'll need some glass panes. Should have those as well. And then I believe redstone was the other one. Where was it? I literally just saw it. Did I type in, was it speed? <laughs> yeah, so two, two, two. Okay, okay, dang it. All right, here we go. So boom, boom, boom. And there we go. It is working already. Super simple, super easy. Love it. Now, I'm going to toss this into one of these over here to the right. And we're going to see how much of an increase this actually is. And it definitely is an increase. Now, does this not tell me how much power this is actually using? Right off. Holy cow. Yeah, that is a pretty substantial increase. We are looking a lot better. I wonder if that makes that go away faster as well. Anyways, I don't know if that trick still works, by the way, where you can just, like, move this with a piston. I think that was fixed, by the way. Because I remember utilizing that in the past. It's a very nice, wonderful trick, but if you guys do recommend it, just note that I believe I did try that a while back ago recently and I believe they fixed that because they I don't think they really want people using that so easily anyways um, I did make a mega torch in here as well so that way we don't have to worry about mob spawning also it was kind of an issue trying to clear this giant space out and make it flatten here because of all the mob spawning and stuff so yeah it, it pretty much had to deal with that I think what we'll do though just to kind of start things off I think we will set up the harvester and maybe set this up kind of like a nine by nine 
and then always on. We're going to go and grab some saplings. Let's go ahead and do oak just for good measure. It also drops a few other things as well. Now, I think it automatically replants, but I thought it had its own like inventory or something. We probably will need some light over here so these trees will grow. Let's make sure it's all nice and lit up. The fog, by the way, is very nice. I like this because it tells me it's morning time. I mean, we're underwater. I mean, we can kind of still see the sun and stuff, but yeah, it's just nice. Wait, why do I have two of these on me? Did I make two of these and not even... I'm still trying to figure this one out. I don't know why this is happening. <laughs> this is very... That's a very weak sound for such a big creature. I'm just going to help it out. Anyways, let's move on. Ah, where the heck did I get this one from? This one already has everything done and ready to go. I don't... I don't really understand. All right, I'm going to try to help things along a little bit. I want to see something, so we're going to get some bone meal. And honestly, this might work a little bit better. I mean, that seems to work okay. Let's go ahead and see. So this thing is definitely getting power. I don't think it's cutting the tree down. It's always on. Might need a item. Vans item pipe. Let's grab those. Extract. Um... I thought I had some of these, but I guess not. Let's just go ahead and upgrade this at least to the tier three. And then we're going to go ahead and get a, I don't know if a storage bin would be, storage bin would be better right now. I think I have enough stuff to make this. In fact, might be worth getting. I think we're going to need three of these, by the way. Oh, I still need the original anyways. We'll just do the original one. I think that would be a better idea here. Okay, they don't stack. So just an easy way of doing this, and if I'm mistaken, where do you extract from? Is it the back? The bottom? Wait a minute, do you not... Do you not like those? I don't think it likes those. Or we just need a different way of picking them up. Regardless, it's not working. Which is why I grabbed the other ones anyways. So, I think this is broken because I'm pretty sure this is just supposed to work. Yeah, I'm almost fairly positive this should have just worked as it currently is sitting. Um, might have to talk with Lothrazar to see uh, if he knows anything about that. Because, yeah. Anyways, so let's grab this plant gatherer. If I'm not mistaken, we need to go this way with it. And we're going to have to check the show working area. So, well, unfortunately, these things are pretty, pretty minimal. So... We're going to need to get some upgrades for these guys. Let's go see if we can do that. Uh, plant sower is going to probably want one as well. Or we can just have it set up with one for the time being and just have a tree grow. Possibly some kind of user with the um, reinforced watering can can maybe help us out there. Yeah, we're going through that biofuel a lot faster now, by the way. I do want to point that out. I think we're good here. Yep. Wow, we've gotten two buckets worth. All right, well, we are looking pretty good now. I think we're going to be happy on plastic. Let's just go ahead and type in range. Range will be a little bit easier. I think we're going to go with... What would be easier? What is this? A seven? This is iron. Gold. Iron. 
This is uh, plus six. I'm not sure what these particularly do right off the bat, but this is maybe about the size that I'm thinking I want. I don't want a huge one in there. So we're just gonna go and make two of these. So we're gonna need redstone. One, two, three, four. We're gonna need some panes. One, two, three, four. You know the drill. Counting with Bentley. Gold, oops. Gold nuggets. We're gonna need, I think eight of those if I remember correctly. And there we go. Nice. I don't know if I need any more in here. This is going fairly quick, but having a lot of latex is not a bad thing at all. Not a bad thing whatsoever. All right, so there's one for our plant sower. We're going to have one for our plant gatherer as well. Is it just me or is this working better now that... Oh, it's pretty much done. Going through the last little bit there. All right, and there we have it. We have our two upgrades. I might change this up a little bit later on with like a different way of growing all of this, but we'll see how that goes when we get there. All right, so first things, let's go ahead and pop this in here so we can see a bigger range. I think that's, I'm happy with that. Now, if you notice, this is pretty much getting rid of all of the stuff in there. If we take a look at this, I think there's a way. Yeah, so it's also building up sludge which is something we can actually make use of a little bit later on as well. We can also speed this up, but that works out pretty well. I also need to figure out whereabouts the center is, which I think is about in here. Kind of hard to see the blocks. So I know this is at least the center. I haven't done one of these in a while. Just to throw that out there, I've not done one of these in a while. I think this might be it right here. Plant sower. Let's go ahead and set this up to hide the working area. Let's go ahead and set this up to show working area. Oh, that needs to go down another one. Yeah, that's one more down, right? Perfect. Pop that in there, and that looks good. That actually looks good, so we should be all right there. We'll pipe in these over there to over there and have that going for us, but let's see. Do this, this, and this. We're gonna grab these item pipes here. We're gonna move this onto the side here. I don't think it really matters which one. We're going to have to dig underneath a little bit. So that way we can kind of get to powering our friend here. And let's see. So I wonder if I can have this set up appropriately. I think I can. I'm a little iffy about utilizing these in there. I think what I'm going to do, though, is this. We're going to make one more bin. Because I had problems with overstacking on these before using these particular pipes. Which is kind of the reason why I also don't use them super much. Or we could just use a trans order pipe, I think, underneath. And that might be a little bit more helpful. Of course, at the same time time I think I would need a logistical I think I have an extra actually in fact I know I have an extra one I don't know which one's which though <laughs> that's the problem okay so that's that one I'm assuming this one is the appropriate one yes so this one's oh that one's set up for that um that's okay delete that's what that was for totally forgot don't mind me that was my fault my bad I'm so sorry <laughs> uh, let's see so new filter item stack and we're gonna set this up with saplings we're just gonna hit save that way that sends over that should work 
fairly well. It's not going to send that because we need power over there now. So let's go ahead and grab some energy pipes. Oops, where are they at? This is a little bit longer episode today. Hopefully you don't mind, but I do want to finish this up and at least get this running. Where the heck are they? Oh, there they are. I was going to say, what the heck? I don't really want to use gold. Where the heck are you getting those from? Stop making that sound. You're freaking me out. Is 8,000 enough? 8,000 is probably too much. Honestly, I'd probably be fine just to use these. Okay, and then we're just going to run this off the side. We won't be able to really get in there anymore, but there we go. So there it goes. It's planning them. Perfect. And then we can go ahead and hide the working area. So that's going to start automatically. They're going to grow eventually over time, which is what we want. And then set this up to right here. We're going to go in here. And we're also going to set this. You see that right there? We're going to blacklist. Of course, we might just have to use the other anyways. Because I, I don't know if it's going to do right, but we'll leave it as is and see if it actually works the way we want it to. So with that all being said, everyone, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. That's pretty much it. We got it set up and going. We got ourselves a wonderful tree farm. Sending out looks like it is... Seems like it's working just fine, honestly. I think it's working A-OK. -okay. What we can do now to kind of help it along a little bit, we can do this, and then I need to replace that thing. And there it goes. I think it's going to be able to get it all. Very nice, very wonderful tree farm. I think that will also still get picked up, I believe. If not, we can fix that a little bit later on. And it seems like it's working. Very nice. I like it. Very simple, very nice. Might swamp it up a little bit in the future, but that'll work for now. Let's go ahead and wrap things up by saying thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you guys did, you can leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think and all that good stuff. Uh, if you have any helpful tips, tricks, or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section down below, and hopefully we'll catch you guys back in the next episode. Until then, goodbye.